This lesson deals with the ideal diode and an analysis technique called assumed states. You can find these notes in the course ebook in chapter 9 starting on page 1. Let's define an ideal diode like we define an ideal resistance. The symbol is shown here. It's an arrowhead and then a line or a bar. The ideal diode, we're not going to fill in this arrowhead and we're going to label the voltage across it plus the minus from what's called the A terminal and the K terminal, which are called the anode and the cathode. And the current will be assumed into the plus terminal out the minus and there was a passive sign convention. When the current flows through the diode in this direction, the voltage across the diode is zero. And when the voltage across the diode is negative, the current is equal to zero. In other words, current is allowed to go this way, but it can't go back the other way. Now the anode is Greek for the up way, and refers to how the electrons are flowing. And the cathode is Greek for the down way, which is our direction of current. These are terms from vacuum tubes. We'll use another notation for the ideal diode, calling the anode the positive terminal and the cathode the negative terminal. This refers to more of the physics of the diode, what's called the p-side and the n-side. Now analytically, we could take this curve that's here and describe it as two equations, one that the current is zero when the voltage across the ideal diode is less than or equal to zero, and that the voltage is zero when the current is greater than or equal to zero. What is that describing? The first case is having no current, but a voltage, and that's our definition of an open circuit. But an open circuit can have a positive or negative voltage across it, and even zero. But for the ideal diode, it has to be less than or equal to zero. The second condition is having zero volts, which is our definition of a short circuit, but in a short circuit, current can go in both directions. But in the ideal diode, it can only flow from the anode to the cathode. So I sub D needs to be greater than or equal to zero. Also, the word diode is Latin for two paths. We have a high resistance path and a low resistance path. Now on the plot of the voltage and current characteristics on the previous page, the point zero current and zero volts has a special name. It's called the transition point. And it's where the diode is acting like an open circuit and a short circuit simultaneously. Now this is covered by both models, but it's the overlapping of the two. We'll talk some more about how to use this shortly. Now the relationship between voltage and current that we saw on page one was nonlinear. If it was a linear relationship, we'd have a straight line passing through the origin. So we're going to take a look at an analysis technique based on the fact that the ideal diode can either be an open circuit or a short circuit, but that's it. The transition point is actually covered by these. So we call this the assumed state. We're going to assume or take a guess at what the state of the diode is and then analyze the circuit and find either the voltage across the diode or the current through it and see whether that's consistent with what we guessed. For example, if we assumed an open circuit, then we'll replace the diode between the anode and the cathode with an open circuit where the current is zero for all conditions, and there's a voltage across the diode from anode to cathode. To be consistent with the actual diode, we have to find the voltage V sub D and show that it's less than or equal to zero. Likewise, if we assume it was a short circuit, we're going to replace the ideal diode by a short circuit and define the current from anode to cathode the voltage across the short circuit is zero. And then to be consistent with the guess, we have to show that I sub D is greater than or equal to zero. Now, if we make a guess and we find a contradiction, then we have to do the problem over again and guess again. As I mentioned before, there are transition points that fix V sub D and I sub D at zero and zero. They're used to find what value of the input causes a change in the state of the diode. We'll talk some more about this in the next video. And these are the concepts of an ideal diode and assume state analysis.